We all experience stress. Every single one of us has a story of pain and suffering, whether it's physical pain or emotional pain. The question is, are we actually turning away from it? Are we resisting in some way? Mindfulness, and in particular a practice of self-compassion, can help us, in fact, turn towards that suffering, which to begin with sounds counterintuitive, but until we're actually able to accept what's going on for us, we can't come into a better relationship with it. My name is Mary. I run a centre for mindfulness practice based in Oostgeest called Attention to Being. Mindfulness is about paying attention. It's about coming into connection between the mind and the body and really being able to press the pause button on life for a moment, to really notice what is going on for ourselves only at that moment. We know that mindfulness and self-compassion practices help with emotional resilience, with being better motivated, and also with decision-making. This is because we're able to be in better balance between our logical, uh, what the mind is telling us from a rational point of view, and what our emotions are telling us from a gut feel. So mindfulness helps us to develop that different relationship and in fact, we can begin to notice that we may have adopted a pattern of adding to our stress unnecessarily. So being able to use mindfulness to see what is going on for us in that moment um, and to show an attitude of kindness to ourselves that's a really key coping skill. At Attention to Being, I offer a variety of courses and workshops for the community. So from a full eight-week course, whether that be in mindfulness-based stress reduction or in mindful self-compassion. And there are a variety also of workshops, one-day workshops, when you can find out more about the techniques that are involved in one of these longer courses um, before actually signing up for a full course. There are also a ways of people finding support in the community because mindfulness is not about simply doing an eight week course. It's really about integrating the practices into your daily life. And for many people that takes the support that a group can offer, or I'm available to offer more one-to-one -one coaching support to find and brainstorm ways that mindfulness can become part of your life in the long term. I'd like to give you three tips to help cope with stress and suffering. Tip one is, it's not your fault that you feel stress. Why do I say that? Well, we inherit ancient brains, in fact, brains that have helped us wire for threat and therefore it's natural that we respond by feeling stress. These are messages that are there for a reason. Tip two, dare to touch your vulnerability. If we accept that stress is a natural part of our lives, then we know that we're going to experience vulnerability with that. But instead of fighting and turning away from vulnerability, if we open towards it, then we can allow ourselves to actively soothe those feelings and the whole experience can in fact be transformative. Tip three, see if you can establish a pattern in your life of pausing regularly, even if just for a few moments, to connect between the mind and the body with the breath, breathing into your experience. And by doing this, it enables us to calm and soften. And we're existing in the nurturing state of mind when we're doing this. This allows us to rewire the brain, which we now know is plastic and able to make new patterns through these new habits. And it enables us to move forward from the conditioning of stress. It could be that you've heard all about the differences that mindfulness can make to people's lives, but you don't think there's space in your life for it. Or maybe you've got questions that you'd like to have clarified. I'd like to invite you to give me a call. I also give talks in the community regularly 
So maybe there's an opportunity that I can come to your place of work, for example, and we could talk about how there's an opportunity for regular mindfulness sessions there to help people also in a similar position to yourself.